this is Ilian St. Hilaire and in this short video we're going to take a look at Mesh Central 2's uh, two-factor authentication system. So if you have a Mesh Central 2 server installed already um, and, or if you have been using the web for a long time you know that passwords are not really super safe. A lot of people use the same password everywhere and so on and so forth. So uh, there's this new thing called two-factor authentication where we use a password in conjunction with something else. So Mesh Central 2 starting uh, with the most recent version support that now. So you go in the second panel here, my account, and you'll see account security, and you'll be able to, um, there'll, there'll be basically two options here uh, that concern us in this video. One is managing the Authenticator app, and the other one is the security keys. So Authenticator app is the Microsoft uh, Authenticator application that you can get on your mobile phone. Uh, I have it running here, and so, I'm going to log in here and click on that and it's going to give me this QR code that I have to read into my authentication application. So I'm going to say scan barcode and you're not going to see it here. I'm just going to go ahead and do it, but it's basically going to read that barcode into my app and um, and then every 30 seconds generate a new six digit code. And as long as the server and the phone are roughly uh, at the same time, then this will work. Obviously, if, if you don't keep your server uh, on the accurate time, on accurate time, then uh, obviously that won't work. So I'm going to type the code that the application gives me currently, and this is basically to verify that everything's okay. And you say, and you see here it's successful. I have a little check mark, and that means that now if I log out and then log back in it's going to ask me for this login token. And so now what I'm going to do is uh, wait for the next code to show up. There you go. Type in the code, say enter, and I'm logged in. So now I need my password plus the code that Google Authenticator gives me. Now, in addition to this, if you go back to my account, there's backup codes. So you can click on this, generate new token, and this is a set of eight digit codes you can use once. So I'm gonna grab Notepad here and just write those into Notepad right here. But uh, normally you would cut and paste them uh, into Notepad and print them out and so that uh, you would have them as a backup. So you see a little checkbox here, means that I have codes available. I log out, now I can log back in and now I have the same token. I can use the Google Authenticator app or I can use one of these eight digit codes, say login and boom, I'm logged in. But because they're once only code, if I click on manage backup codes, you'll see that the code I used, this one right here is hashed out. So uh, I can't use it anymore. So if I log out, uh, log in, username, password, then type in this code again, the same one, won't work. If I try another code on my page, this one worked, and then I can go back to backup codes and you see that two codes are uh, now off. Now, anytime you want, you go ahead and generate new tokens, you get a new series of codes, cut and paste those <clears throat> back and print those out and that's in your new codes. Okay, and anytime you want, you can clear the codes if you want, don't want that to be active or generate a new set. Perfect, very easy. Lastly, security codes, uh, security keys. So there are hardware keys like this one I'm holding in my hands. This one is from YubiKey Ubi and they're cheap. Uh, you can get them 12 to $15 on uh, eBay or Amazon. Uh, there's you know many different variants of this. And here I'm using Firefox uh, and I went to the configuration of Firefox and turned on U2F, uh, the universal two-factor uh, support in Firefox. Otherwise, you use Chrome, and that always works. So what you do is you plug this key inside your USB port. You click, you say, add uh, U2F key. And then you type in a key name. For example, my uh, pers personal key. You say, OK. And then it will prompt you, you see the browser here, it will prompt you to tap the button on the key. So I'm going ahead and press the button 
and boom, my personal key just got added as a key that I can use. So now I can close this, log out, and then when I log in, username, password, ask me for the token, but now it asks me for the token or I can press the key. So now I can use these one-time codes on the right, I can use the Google Authenticator, or I can just tap the USB button and I'm logged in, okay? So this is super easy. I can also support, uh, I can also add multiple keys. So, uh, you know, if you want, you can add the second one. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Second key, enter, ask me to type, press the key. So I'm gonna plug the second key here, tap the button, boom, second key just got added, okay? So now I can use either one of those, the backup codes or the Google uh, application. Uh, one more thing, if you happen to have a YubiKey like I just had, um, and your browser does not support the uh, U2F standard where you, know, it, where you don't have the browser support, there's an alternative and you need to configure the server, the Mesh Central server correctly, but you add a one-time password key. So um, my key, for example, here, that's my key name. And then here, we're not going to uh, use U2F, so we're not gonna use any browser support. What's gonna happen is that when I press the button on the USB key, it's gonna act like, like a USB keyboard and send out a one-time code um, onto this box. So what I'm gonna do is just select this box and then tap the button and you see this long code show up and once I, and it's gonna hit enter automatically. And once that's done, Mesh Central is gonna go outside to the YubiKey server, validate that the key's correct and add it to the um, to a valid key. But you see it's a different color here because this is a one-time uh, password key instead of a UTF key. And by the way, the, the same key, the same YubiKey key can be used both uh, in my case for UTF and OTP. So now I can hit close, log out, and now I'm going to log back in and use it in password. And now I'm going to hit cancel on this because I don't want to use U2F, uh, U2F. And I'm going to click on here and basically my, uh, my YubiKey is going to act like a USB keyboard and just type this long code. So I'm just going to tap the and boom, I'm logged in. Okay, so uh, that's a, basically another alternative. So what you can do is if you happen to have a UB key like I do, you can add the key twice. Like I, I could have typed my personal key twice here uh, and added it as, as both modes so that regardless of what browser I encounter when I'm you know, somewhere else, um, I can bring my key, tap it in. And if I have uh, Firefox enabled with UTF or Chrome, you, you use that mode. If it's not, you just uh, tap in the cursor at the right place, put your USB key, and use it as your USB keyboard to type the right uh, code in. So that's it. A quick introduction to Mesh Central to uh, two-factor authentication. I hope you love it. It's a great way to secure not just Mesh Central, but all the websites all over the internet that support it. So highly encourage you get uh, one of those little hardware token keys. They come in different variants really, really important you do that. Thank you so much. Have a great day.